Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. Um, the first thing, I, I have a few things on my mind here, and the first thing I want to tell you is that um, I'm probably going to take a few days off uh, this week. I have uh, my son's birthday is coming up, and he'll be 55, so he's going to be a senior citizen, so I thought I'd treat him with dinner. And um, then I have a house that's got full of mold, which is a rental that um, that I help with from some friends of mine in California. I, I take care of the property. And so we have a mold issue because of all the rain we got from the um, hurricane. So that's going on. And then I also have somebody working on my property. Up, uh, it's like 40 miles from here. And so trying to go back and forth up there to see what's been done or not done. It's just been a very long week and it's going to be even longer with all these issues. So I just wanted to say that up front. I don't want, um, you know, if you miss me, you'll know why. Plus I need to reorganize. Everything here is, is a total disaster on my desk. I don't know where anything is. Well, I know where it is, but it, it's just... It drives me nuts, you know. I know you all feel that way too. So then um, also I wanted to say um, I hope you went and saw uh, Etta J's uh, video uh, or her channel. I couldn't get the exact link to the project that I did to put in the, um, in the description for yesterday's video, but I hope you... I hope you were able to find it and find her. And she contacted me, so I know she saw me. And so uh, I was really thrilled that she was thrilled that I I um, shared her channel with you guys. Okay, so right now I'm trying to get this one um, that I started finished, this little folio. And um, I, I did this front. It's just um, fabrics and uh, one of the leaves from that I got from Kathy and just, you know, some fabrics and that. And then I got this um, wood stick. I think I showed that to you. This, and I got it to flatten out enough to be able to glue it right here to the edge. However, when I went to sew in my signature, it was a little difficult to get it to to lay down there, but it, it's fine, it's fine. And I think it'll hold, it's pretty strong that, uh, I use that weld glue. Um, it's called Weld Bond, and it holds like crazy, and it dries clear. Um, and it does dry a little shiny, but not as shiny as Fabric Tech does. So that's why I like it. Okay, so um, what I need to do now is embellish some more of these pages. I don't know if I did... Okay, this is the one I made uh, with Etta's idea. And... Oh, I'm going to put this bird card in, in this envelope, I think. Maybe something else, too. But I just want to make sure I use it. And if I don't use it there, I'll find someplace else. Did a little stamping. And so now I'm kind of at the center. I don't know if I did this on camera. I don't think so, but I might have. So I made a pocket, and I have a tag here that's in that pocket. And we did this, all this. This is the folio part here. Okay, so on the front, I just wanted to make this simple, but no, can't do that. So I printed it, this page, and so I was going to make corner pockets here, but I wanted the pages, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted um, them to match the page here because I didn't want to cover all this. So I printed it out. Well, it printed out a different color, um, same paper, everything. But I, I know they tell you not to change the colors until it's out. And so when I went and checked my colors, the magenta was a little bit low. So I'm thinking maybe that's why it came out. It's just a different color, it's just a different color. Or maybe this was the wrong color. I don't know. <laughs> And then I went back and I said, okay, well, let's print it on vellum, and I'll put vellum in the corners. Well, that printed out really dark, and this is after I changed the ink. So, I don't know. I might try both of them and just see how they look. 
as I'm not going to go print another one, I don't know what it's going to turn out like. And, you know, it will probably just come out the same as, or uh, it'll come out separate from what I've already done. So what to do to get this is I've decided that if I want this corner down here, and then I want this corner down here. Okay, so <clears throat> I think if I just fold it, I have a dot there that I marked it. But see, this is the, you have to make sure. Um, I wish I had, uh, you know, I have a tea roller. The reason I'm saying this is because sometimes it's just really hard to get it completely straight. So let's just do this. Because if it doesn't, it won't be even. Okay. So that's that side. And you guys are probably wondering why am I showing this? But if you're new uh, to my channel or just new in journaling, you can't see everything. Just trying to get that to, because the T isn't helping me on that side. Okay. Now I'm going to hold that kind of down better. There we go. So, now I'm going to cut this in half. I, I don't think I can save the owl. I was thinking I could save that top part, but I don't think so. Okay, that's right along the line. Okay. And that just gets, I'll just use this again. Yeah, so the week has been... I'm probably going to have to cut this down even more. Sure, because I've... Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Basically, I just want to see <clears throat> if that would blend enough, you know, to make it look as if it was still part of the page. And I was planning to sew around this. All right, let me get this one. Yeah, I had no idea that, I think the house, um, it ha it's on a foundation, you know, like a crawl space foundation. So I'm thinking that, um, uh-oh, how do I do that? Oh, so <laughs> scared me. That's what I was so worried about. I do it upside down. Okay. Yeah, that's, that doesn't look so bad. Well, that needs to be over there a little more. Let's see. I think I'll trim this edge just a little bit more. And maybe that one too. Line it up straight here. Even if it's a little smaller, it's okay. As long as I can line up the the leaves and stuff. But that one goes down there like that. So it's too long as well. All right. So that's enough. Okay, that line's 
this up. Okay, so now this side, can you see? I don't even know if you can see. This side, let's see where that, that lines up to right there. So we're going to take off a little bit of this side. And I, I think we're okay on the bottom. I might just shave off a little bit of the bottom of that one. I was trying to find something to do with this center page and I, I just wasn't um, finding what I wanted. So I'm going to put you on pause because I want to sew around this. I'm just going to do a straight stitch, but I think it'll add some character to the page. So hold on real quick. Okay, I'm back. So I've sewed around them. Um, I inked around them, I think. And so I'm going to glue them down. And um, I guess I'll just use this glue and see what happens. I was looking at the back side. I thought I liked the back. Just give this a little extra glue when it has the sewing on it because it doesn't like to adhere as easily. And I could, you know, run a thing down the back of it and flatten it out, but why would I do that when I can't? When I can, let's put it that way. Okay, let's see here. lined up. There's this white kind of page underneath that's throwing me off. Okay. I'll just let that sit for a minute. Um, put some clip to hold it down. Cool. All right, now this one here. I like the back too. Maybe I'll just start folding up some of these. I was gonna, whoops, flatten this out this time. Um, just make some pages and do these corner pockets. I love corner pockets actually, because you can put so much in it. You can put a much bigger piece of ephemera tags or journal cards than you can in regular pockets. Oops, let's see if we can get it lined up correctly. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to put journal cards in here. Now, Let's see, I don't know how deep they're going to go. Probably about that deep. But I don't want to cut away, I don't want to lose the owl. So what I think I'm going to do, I want to leave enough room here to be able to pull the card out. But I thought, let me, let's see. I think that's pretty snug in there. So I'm going to, let's see if you can't see it. I'm just going to go up two inches from here and two from here. 
this would be a, a Rose Lane journal, a Rose Lane, vintage Rose Lane deal. She does stuff like this. Okay. Let's just see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? And this is just uh, eight and a half cut in half. So this is a four by four and three quarters or four and a quarter. Okay, now I've got to get this on the... Okay, so if I bring that... Hmm. I guess maybe I should mark it. This top as well. I didn't think it would be all the way to the very top. So put this in at an angle. Match that dot and this dot on your little line here. And there's your angle. And this is, you know, it's journaling space, but it just, I, I'll probably put something on there like, I don't know what. Okay, and then there's another little journaling spot we can use. Actually, you can take this one probably and put it in like here. It'd be upside down, but you know, if you wanted to, you could. So let's see, I think that this will fit just about the same. So I'm going to. See if that's I need to have the mirror image. Okay, so I need it to go in this direction here. Okay, so I'll put that on top. long mark I made or the short mark. Oh my goodness. Let me just I better check it. It's the long mark. Okay. check it then it will be wrong and then I'll have to start all over I won't start all over I'll just adjust it so it does fit all right so that one will go there and this one will go here and that leaves that open now I could do something here or I could do something here. I could um, maybe, and I could also put another a tag in with those like this. That would be cute. Yeah, I like that. So that kind of breaks it all up once I get it sewed and everything. And um, let's see. I don't think we need here, but maybe we could put a little thing like that in there. I don't think I have any more of those left. Those little clusters. Oh, here's one, but it's, it's a button, which is okay too. I kind of like this one though. Just I like the green and the red seems to go with it. So let's go with it. Oh, 
I'll just make it straight. I'm just going to turn it on the side. I'm an angle kind of person. I don't like, like my furniture doesn't sit on my walls that right back to the back of the wall. They come out a little bit or they're slanted or something. Okay, so we're going to leave that there and see how much time I've spent. Oh my gosh, that was pretty quick. I feel like I'm on a screen though. Um... So basically, this needs to be um, sewn, and I think that's enough embellishment. I have these owl clips I kind of want to use. These are vintage. I got them at a thrift store, but I don't see any purpose for them. They really don't show up once you clip them onto something, unless I'm doing it wrong. Maybe it goes like that. No, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to finish um, that um, on my own. And I don't think we need these anymore. I think they're, they're down. And I'll ink around and sew around these in a belge. I might even end up cutting this off. I just kind of wanted to make sure that the, that the uh, owl showed. And I tied it with jute. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. I hope everything's sewed in properly. That, that page there. And I don't think I need to paper clip it, but it's the planning table for November. This is from 1957 Almanac. So I think I had it clipped for a reason. Let me try one of these guys. It's just that this paper is fragile and this clip is very, very tight. Let me see if I got a rusty clip that'll hold it. Got time to do some more rusties. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of my yellow fake tape oh, on it. Here's a short piece. And you can still read through that. But it gives some more strength for this paper clip. There we go. Okay. So now we have this just is just I could probably put a small pocket. I was gonna use this one, but I wanna change this part out. It doesn't really go. And yeah, that's a little too big. anything to look through on that side. I'm just trying to use some of the digital cards that, the digital pockets, I should say, not the cards. Might fit on that. See, this is something that can't, you know, I can't imagine gluing it down because it, on the other side, unless, I was thinking, can I make it a flip? Like, attach it here. Maybe that 
needs to be cut away or something. It's too bulky down here. All right, so if I did that and I decided to use this part as a flip, well, let me get this. I was looking at one of my videos the other day that was um, somebody had a question so I went back to look at it and I'm like I don't even remember making that stuff I don't remember how I made them this is like uh, how can I re recreate something I don't even remember doing that this is all in my way if you know what I mean It, but I like this brown. I mean, I don't like that showing. Actually, it doesn't even have to be. Oh, yeah, it does. It's got a number one on it, too. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's really going to work. I think this would serve it better purpose as all right where did you go up there I'm surprised I haven't got a call yet I've got the air conditioning company we're gonna see about putting uh, because the uh, mold is mostly in the decks of the AC unit and so I was gonna have the ducts cleaned first but then I thought we need to find the source of the mold first because otherwise I have to do the ducts over again and that's expensive because the only person that will deal with mold is those um, certified people and it's just regular mildew. It's it's mold. It's not that dangerous, deadly black mold. It's just regular, everyday mold that you get in your bathrooms because you don't have any ventilation. So, um, see, I'm just thinking about maybe just making a little tiny tuck here. And then we can tuck the owl in there. Can't tell. Oh, this is the writing. So, you know, um, so the air conditioning, or I was looking up online, you know, about mold and what you can do, and there was an article about these, uh, it's like an ultraviolet light that goes in your air conditioning system, and what it does is it takes all those particles out, uh, mold particles, so if, and that may be kind of pricey too because you have to have electric um, switch put in, added to your unit and stuff. I'll sew around that. I get, maybe I want it to go this way. I think I'll have it go that way. Um, I don't know if I want to sew this or not. I'm just going to let it go this time. Oops. And then I'll sew him. And maybe add a little more element to that. Okay. So that's journaling and journaling. Can journal on this page. This page, um, of this page, I can glue this down and make a tuck. Um, you know, I've just glued it down like that and put a journal card or something in it. 
I know I have a whole bunch here. Where'd they go? I'm just going to glue this little bit down here. That holds it too from flopping around. And I like that card. I made that journal card the other day. Okay. And this one has that rabbit on it. I'm going to leave that there. I need to put one of these tabs like this, probably on a bigger page. Let's see, I did it there. The porcupine would be on that side. So that one doesn't go that way. Yeah, I don't think I have one that goes. That's it. I think I only have two that I made for in this book. So I guess that would be okay. Let's see. Let me check to see if I can find another page. Mm. Wrong side, too. <laughs> Everything's on the wrong side. Hmm. Well, I need to put something on there, but I'd have to make another good size piece of ephemera where if I put this here, I can tuck. I can just tuck a journal card up in here, I think. Oops, sorry. Which doesn't, that one doesn't match it. Oh, those are leftovers. A tiny one like that. And then this side, I can make it a belly band or I can glue it and then tuck underneath. So I would have to probably make another journal card to do that. I like the belly band though. The belly band could be from the bottom to get a bigger card. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. And this needs to be inked. And then I probably be done. I mean, with this video, I could go on more. You know me, I never get done. All right, so I want that to be out like a little tab. I'm, and this is the last page of the journaling part. Okay, so I want to glue here and here, which I'll have to, I guess I'll have to glue on this page here. Get that part in. Let's do both sides. Never thought about that part. I can lift it up a little bit and glue it. And this one. Lift that up and glue it here. Okay, I have this one here too, but um, maybe I'll put this one up in the front. This one doesn't have to go in this journal though because it doesn't, you know, it's not a matching piece. And I made these yesterday. Um, they're just little window pocket thingies. And I thought maybe 
these would look cute just on the same page, you know, like that. Let's see if there's any other. Kind of want something on this page because it's the the first page you see when you open the journal. This one I could make instead of, you know, I could just do it as a tuck. I like that with that. So these I'll use, but I don't think I'll find another page to do it. All right, so I'm going to glue here and here. Put a little glue in here just to keep this uh, stuck on. Okay, so we have one coming out there. Oh, I don't want to go down to the bottom. Can't do that. Darn. Okay, well, we just have to have two. And I don't think I inked it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what? I think I was going to sew around these two, and I forgot to do that. I feel like I'm going to have to cut another piece. Well, that goes with that one. So I don't think I want that same one. Hmm. Almost out of stuff. Okay, I, I will find um, something for that. And then I probably, let's see if I, okay, I thought I had another design that had more of the reds in it. I don't even know where that is. Because I printed these just for to make some journal cards. Oh, maybe it was more of this color, purplish. All right. Just have to see what I can find. And the other thing I did too was, um, and I don't know about embellishing this part. I have to see what. Maybe I can make a ruffle or something, a fabric. Okay, so this here was too flimsy. I didn't like the flimsiness of it when I closed it. So I've added two pieces of cardstock here and I, I covered it with a um, napkin. And that napkin's back here on the back. So, then I put this elastic tie on here and I glued it under there. I glued it way under there and 
then I'm just going to tie it off. But I thought I might put something up the, uh, to dangle. And I don't know. Um, do I have any dangly things handy? A piece of wood. <laughs> this is what I was thinking about in my sleep. I go, oh, I have that heart. <laughs> but that's not going to look good. You know how your mind just kind of wanders when you're when your cat is trying to wake you up at 4 a.m. Uh, I've already got so many leaves. You know, the charm. I don't think I want to do that. All right, I'm just kind of browsing. Okay, this is the button that I made. That came in handy. I just thought I might have something sitting here. I think the key is way too big and heavy. So I'll have to look in my other, um, even just some beads. I don't have, I'm going to try to look in my bead collection and see if I can't find, you know, a couple of bo uh, larger beads and just to hang down a little bit. I don't know. I think I like it. I'm going to also cover this with some Maj Posh just so it's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to let you go and um, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting. I really, really appreciate it. Um, hope you'll be okay with me taking a few days. I, I don't know what days, how long. I will be back to do a flip through on this one, but I don't know that I'm going to start another journal uh, right away. I just, um, my mind is not there right now. And I, I don't know, you know, it's just doesn't make it as much fun if you don't have your thought process is not thinking properly. <laughs> so, if that's what I, if you call it that, I think. Do you think I should curve these corners? I, just, I cannot decide. And then if I do and I don't want it, then I, I don't. I can't fix it. I don't know. I guess I'll just leave it. There's still a lot more to, that can go in here, so we have plenty of room. So, uh, like, yeah, we have tons of room in there. So I'll probably fill it up. Oh, and also, I'm I'm sorry. I wanted to say that I still have this journal in my um, uh, big cartel shop. So if you know if you're looking for a fall journal, it's here. Um, I'll try to link the um, flip through. I got to go back and fix stuff, huh? Uh, I'll try to link the the flip through on it and at the bottom of this the description and you can go back and take a second look if you're interested in getting one you know right away all right so thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye